right now, we're looking at uh, Castillo of Mexico in white versus Mugabo of Rwanda. Oh, I'm sorry, Republic of uh, Western Australia, RWA. No, no. Rostam Ibrayev, the second of the Kazakh fighters that we're seeing this morning. We saw Yeldos Smetov. He wasn't overly impressive, but we're not going to let that worry us in the first round. Ibrayev has got his hands full with Yanislav Gerchev, the Bulgarian. It's a good matchup here. No score yet. Ibrayev just trying to settle himself here. This Gurchev looks a s a slightly more positive about things. I get the feeling that there's so much tension. In, in the fighters. Uh, really concerned about making a mistake. And in their concern to avoid making a mistake, they're kind of freezing up. Oh well, I suppose we're going to have to explain that away by saying this is the biggest event that a lot of these fighters will ever have been in, so understandable sh that there should be nerves and tensions around. A little over half the contest still to come. The little effort there at the Koichi that went missing. Ibrahe felt that coming, stepped off it and Gurchev ended up collapsing. That's Ibrahe who picks up the passivity penalty and Gurchev continues to attack. They're not the strongest of attacks but he's just managing to stay ahead of his Kazakh opponent. Going to need to step things up here. Can't afford to fall fall behind. And if things stay like this, then Gurchev is going to take. There's another look at the coach. But that was a, a lazy-looking effort. He was a long way away from Ibrahev there. But again, he just managed to get another attack in. No did look untidy. I think he's going to get penalized for a false attack there and, and, he, and he does. He didn't need that. Two minutes to go. He didn't need to make that attack. Ibrahev had, had been given a passivity penalty previously and was, was struggling. He just held back a little bit there, Gurchev, and now Things are, things are level as far as the Shido's are concerned. So he lost his advantage there. Minute and a half left to go. No score yet. Just managed to get Ibrayev to defend against that Yoko Tomo and Aggie, but they don't like it. Yeah, you see, I, th I think that's harsh because Ibrayev did have to block it. Gurchev's just tried to, uh, and they did take it away. 
They gave him the second shido, and now they've taken it away. That was harsh. Because he had to block it. And if you've got to block it, it can't be a false attack. Could it, it could have been the difference in the contest. The, the, you know, refereeing is, is a very, very difficult thing. And, you know, she, she gave him that shido, and that could have been the end of him. Oh, well. She's got two colleagues there to help, help her out. Inside the last minute, then. I think the first two minutes, Gershev looked better. He's just begun to look a little bit untidy and not make the best decisions. Okay. They, the contest judges make marks about how many times someone attacks, but they also make a, a special mark about the quality of the attack. And they can say that that Gurchev's was a positive movement, but not a solid attack. And the difference with that attack and the one where they didn't give the Yuko before was that that was continuation. He never stopped chasing him to bring him down. He was lucky to get the Yuko as well. Maybe there was just enough of the body, score, the scoring part of the body to give give an attack. Last few seconds then. Yeah, I thought that uh, that Yuko is also a generous call. I'd say. You know, it comes to the end of the contest and maybe there's that little bit more. Well, this is one of those where Sometimes maybe a little bit of that crowd noise on the hometown crowd, that also could have nudged things in a certain direction. In any case, the two first Castani fighters are through the first round. Kurjev gave a better effort than we saw in the, in the previous fight we were talking about. But it is uh, a Brayoff who goes through to the next round. You can see here, this was the. I mean, I could see with the continuation, perhaps, there's no doubt that, um, that there was an attack there. It's a clear attack. And the continuation, yeah, so we're going to have to give kudos to the judges. They had a good look there. As you can see in slow motion, you know, we 